What's going on guys? Hamish here from Income Stream Surfers and I've done it. I've worked out a way to search for monthly volume every month for free accurate data. Okay, I'm going to give you three methods of doing it. So let's get started very quickly. What, how, what are we doing in this video? So we're taking um, my um, search operator method. So uh, this here, this is my search operator, well, my search operator method. Uh, for finding low competition keywords, okay. Um, if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know what this is. But just in case, basically, it will only show pages that have um, zero to fifty results, so you know that they're low competition, so that you can rank within Redbubble for them. Okay, that's the basic idea. But how do we know whether these are useful or useless? Normally, what I've been suggesting you do is you use a tool like SEMrush which is $99 a month, okay? Um, but I have actually found this piece of uh, beautiful technology by Ahrefs, who are actually one of my favorite uh, SEO tool companies. And uh, instead, you can do it for free, <laughs> which I mean is perfect for us. A couple of problems with this method is you've got to do these annoying capture things every so often, or quite often, honestly. Um, so how do we do this method? So this one has 1.4 thousand a month and you might think, oh God, I, quick, I better make it, I better make it. But no, the first thing you've got to do actually is you've got to check where Redbubble or Zazzle appear on the search engine result page. So that's what we're doing now. I'm looking for Redbubble, it's not appearing. Uh, let me see. Nope. It's not going to appear. Um, Etsy, Etsy, so that means Redbubble will, will be page three, almost certainly. Yes, it is. Okay, page three is not great, but it doesn't mean it's a lost cause, okay, because that uh, particular search term has 1.4 thousand every month, okay, which I would argue is pretty good. So let's use this as an example. Shaggy Power Meme only has 10 results, okay. Uh, this will probably be copyright, guys, so do not use any pictures. Just use whatever the meme is, which I don't actually know what the meme is. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's go and know your meme, obviously, the, the place to find out about memes. So, look, you would just take, um, you would just take this quote, okay? Taking the quote is not uh, breaking copyright except maybe the word shaggy is just be careful with copyright guys this is just an example I'm not saying you should make this particular design I'm just saying that um, you can use my search operator method to find um, keywords with a lot of searches every month I'm just gonna keep searching while I'm speaking uh, buses oh God, right that's one bus at least it's not a two-stager, which is good, um, because sometimes you have to do two or three of those. Okay, so what is the method? You find a keyword. We'll just use the shaggy as an example. Um, I've just gone off it now. Oh, God. Shaggy power meme. I'm not a robot. Okay, let's just use this as an example. I'm not going to... So what else can we do? We can go on Google again and type in um, AdWords keyword planner. This is uh, another method, or if you just want to be safe, you can um, use uh, two instead of one, if that makes sense. You can use two um, free keyword tools. Um, oh, uh, the good thing about Ahrefs actually is that you can use these as the tags because, again, that will help you appear on both Redbubble and Google. So uh, you go on uh, Get Search Volume Forecasts once you're on Keyword Planner on AdWords. Press Get Started and then press Historical Metrics. And then you can see here it's got 100 to 1K, which is less than uh, Ahrefs is suggesting. Why is it less? Because Ahrefs uh, uses um, kind of approximation. Uh, so it says that, um, you know, X amount of people Google this every month, but they're, they're, they're not really sure. So, yeah, it, it's a guess. But to be honest with you, I wouldn't say that either of these are going to be exactly correct. 
but you know that people are searching for this. Okay, this particular one is appearing on the third page of Google, like I showed before. So I mean, it's pretty good, but it's it's not the best. Um, you would have to look for your own. In fact, I would suggest not to use this because, like I said before, there is copyright, and we have one of the things we have to do is be careful of copyright. Okay, I said that there were going to be three methods, so the final one is to go on keywordtool.io and type in uh, Shaggy Power Meme, United States. Hit search. I've got a bit of a cold, guys, by the way. I'm sorry if I sound a bit weird. And then you can use these as your tags as well. Okay, this is more like a tag tool than um, a keyword finder, but you might find one... Um, that you could use instead of that for the main tag or the the title the title tag which is obviously the most important one okay uh and then finally let's see uh semrush this is the one that uh, i have a client who pays for this every month um so what are the advantages of using semrush over using um kind of the free method that i've just shown you first of all semrush shows you global but i mean that number is the same as that number so, you, you know, uh, there's not really an advantage. Um, this gives you uh, keyword variations, but this also gives you keyword variations. One thing that is good is this gives you the search engine result page for a particular country. But, I mean, you can also do that by going on Google Settings, clicking uh, Search Settings, and then going to Show More. Mostly you want to focus on the United States. That's just generally true just because there's a lot of people and it's a fairly wealthy country Shaggy power memes. So now we're in the United States before in Italy. I'm in Italy. It was on page three Now it's still on page three. Okay, so yeah Yeah, I, I don't know if I trust that if I was using a VPN probably it would be on page two if I can trust SEMrush which I think I can but yeah, the, the, the good news is, guys, is that this method is completely free. Um, it's good for Redbubble. It's good for Zazzle. It's good for any of those kind of websites, print-on-demand websites, where you just upload your designs. Uh, I would recommend uploading to both Zazzle and Redbubble just to kind of double down. So if I give you an example that I found before, um, yeah, uh, Mango fruit sticker I made this video before but I realized that I was just sniffling into the microphone the entire time so if I go on here look Redbubble is here Zazzle is here T Republic here T sorry T Public so it's like um, and also Etsy is at the very top um, so you could upload to Etsy Redbubble and Zazzle and you're kind of covering all of your bases okay I do recommend doing that. I haven't done that personally because I'm a, I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to uploading, but I have uploaded uh, to Redbubble. I mainly use Redbubble just because it's the one that I found first. I am thinking of getting involved into Zazzle. Uh, this uh, method that I kind of discovered does actually work for both Zazzle and um, Redbubble and also for Etsy, although I think it's a little bit different with Etsy. Okay, it's actually not different. Okay, th this uh, this search operator seems to be the best, the cleanest. Okay, I'm going to leave this in the description, guys. If you want to use this, then you know feel free. Um, you can use this for any website. So I'm just going to stop trying to do that. Um, yeah, works for Etsy, works for Zazzle, works for Redbubble, guys. Uh, you can just go through here, um, check which one ranks first. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do a couple of examples while I'm, while I'm chatting. So, yeah, you check which one ranks first out of Etsy, um, Redbubble, and Zazzle, but don't get too hung up on that. Just, in my opinion, just upload to all of them. Uh, I am looking at uh, something at the moment, which is using Redbubble or Zazzle to upload to Etsy. I don't know exactly how that works, but I think it's just kind of uh, uh, drop shipping through Etsy, I guess. I mean, I, I don't see why that wouldn't work or why it wouldn't be allowed. Just, uh, yeah, go through this, guys. Find, um, that's interesting. 
uh, yeah, so yeah, just check it out, guys. Check it out for yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. Really hope this helps. This is a free method for finding uh, the volumes of keywords. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.